it is normal. That's just how, that's just how we roll on out of there. Sort of. Slide out. Okay, I'll stop right now. Anyway, we are hanging out at the house and it is Thursday or Wednesday. Sorry about that. I'm losing track of my days. Look at this cute dress that Ellie is going to wear tonight to the Christmas party we're going to. Look how cute that is. So we're waiting on Alyssa to come over. She's going to come and um, cook her food that she's going to cook for the party. I'm just making salad because it's supposed to be like Italian themed and I'm like, Lord, there's gonna be a lot of pasta. Ain't nobody got time for that. Well, at least my waistline doesn't. So I'm gonna make a salad, like an antipasti salad, which has like salami and provolone and stuff in it. Oh, and I have to go to UPS because I'm bringing that camera back, but I'm gonna wait till Alyssa gets here and then I can run down the street and then come back because I'd just rather do that. Oh, by the way, I'm still in my PJs. I haven't even changed, oh well. Hey, Jonah, what are you doing? We have to fall. <laughs> Break dancing? What? Look at that! <laughs> Elia! Hi! Oh, and this is what Jonah's wearing. He's got like a lot. He has one vest that he wore last week um, that was more Christmassy. See, that looks Christmassy. Look at that dress. <gasps> Ooh. She's got like two teeth coming in on, well, technically, yeah, this side. So last night she had a really hard time sleeping or getting to sleep, so I ended up giving her Tylenol and she fell asleep better, so. Do you like the dress? Excuse me. Oh my God, this one. Get out, Neck, out, out. I went to go do laundry because I've had like a lot of laundry piled up, which by the way, I probably need to just bring laundry in here and fold it. I started to put the laundry inside the washer and it smelled like cat pee. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like you're gonna sit there and pee again on stuff. What is your problem? It's so frustrating because he just keeps doing it. Hey, get out, out, out. And then he comes in here and acts like he wants to be friends with us. It's like, we don't want to be friends with you, you little pee head. I want to be friends with them pee head. No. <laughs> Bankhead, you know what I'm saying? Bankhead representing, you know what I'm saying? Look. You got a YouTube channel you want to shout yeah, out? Actually, you can follow me on you now, but Dylan DeMonson. No! I have over a million subscribers, or a million, million fans. Yeah. Shout out to all my Dillodians. Dillodian? <laughs> It is Thursday. I just got done dropping off the camera to UPS and got done dropping off my child. I have a question for you guys that have kids, like really young kids. Like, did you, do your kids not eat breakfast because, well, or just like any sort of other meal? Because for some reason, Jonah, it's like he never has an appetite for like anything. 
he's always just eating peanut butter crackers for breakfast or something like that. I'll be like, hey, do you want this? And he'll be like, no. Do your kids do that? Do they grow out of that phase? I mean, what is going on with them? But anyway. So we're headed home. We're in our neighborhood. And we have to eat breakfast. And then she's going to go down. You about to go down, girl. I don't think she likes whenever I say that. But anyway, thank you guys for hanging out. So right now we got to eat and I got to have some coffee. Because I just do, okay? I'll hold that again. I won't sing you another song like I did the other day. Unless you like that one. I know, and I was like... I wrote on Twitter, I like making up songs. It's like, that song was already made up. I didn't make up that song. I just like did a different arrangement. Like it was like fancy. Wanna go sit down? Here, we'll get you a tray. It is the ultimate struggle to vlog and be a mom and carry children. Want some eggs? Hold on, I'm gonna give you your puffs. She's obsessed. Mm -hmm. Yummy. So I'm gonna sign up for that course in April, so I'm wicked excited. And if you guys missed my vlog the other day, I basically was just telling you guys what my plans are and what I'm gonna be doing. And what are these? Those look like they're about to fall over. I pretty much am gonna start another channel, just like vlogging, but I'm gonna be vlogging like my doula stuff. That way I don't flood my family channel with a bunch of birthing babies and doula dueling stuff, whatever I just said. Cause I mean, there's some people that like really don't like hearing about birth and like they don't, like it makes them uncomfortable and they just don't like it and they get grossed out. Don't ever be grossed out about it cause it is life. It is normal. That's just how we roll on out of there. Sort of slide out. Okay, I'll stop right now. So basically, <laughs> the things that make you uncomfortable will be on that other channel. And so I'm excited about that. And then last night I was looking at tickets for CVX Live. I'm thinking about going to that one because I gotta meet my BFF, Sean Durris. And obviously if I am a stalker and I come to like the city that he's in, then I mean, watch him like not go to that one. <laughs> I'll be like, what the crap? So if you're watching this, Sean, go to that one. Okay. He's like literally one of my favorite YouTubers. And it was so funny because, oh, I didn't tell you guys the other day. Okay, so the other day, Brian was like, you know, supposedly Casey Neistat was in my office the other day. And I was like, what? Because, you know, now Casey works at CNN. Brian just casually just mentions that to me. And, like, I sort of have, it was like on a previous vlog, I sort of touched on it. I have, like, a six-degree of separation thing with Casey. My sister's friend Pete is friends with Casey. Like from like childhood, like childhood friends, like middle school friends, like whatever. Anyway, that sounds like really stalkerish. Like I'm not trying to be like fangirl. I'm not really fangirl. Like I just, I definitely respect his work and I love his work. He's very creative. He's an awesome storyteller. So I'm definitely not like a weirdo, if you know what I mean. My sister's friend grew up with him and he was actually at his wedding. This was like 2012 or something like that. This is before Casey started doing his vlogs and stuff. Like he was probably kind of doing YouTube. Long story short, my sister met him, said that he, she could tell he was really artsy fartsy. She could just tell that he was just one of those people. A creative, you know, like us, like you, like me, if you do YouTube. And I just almost hit my head on that. That would have not been pretty. Brian works at CNN. Case, or CNN just bought Beam, which was Casey's company. And I go, oh, Brian, maybe you'll be able to work with Casey. Cause I mean, it's an app and Brian's an app developer. A lot of like the app stuff is dealt with in Atlanta. So um, I guess maybe that's why he was down here. So I was like, dang, Brian. And of course, you know, Brian guys, you know, Brian. He said he was just sitting at his desk. And the week prior, you know, he he was talking about their acquisition of Beam. People were like, huh, who's Casey Neistat? Like they didn't, they legit didn't even know who Casey was. So ba Brian basically said that like somebody mentioned it. And I think it was like a younger kid. And he was like, hey, is that Casey? And Casey like walked past them. So long story short, again, like I was saying, and then the long story went long. Brian said he he didn't really see Casey, but he did walk past them. I want to meet him. But anyway, so I tweeted and said something, and then of course Casey didn't see that tweet either. So much for being my friend Casey online. So to break it down, like I was talking to Brian, I go, oh, I was like, 
I'm really close to meeting him, maybe someday. And Brian legit was like, he's like, eh, I don't really want to meet Casey. I'd rather meet Sean Durst. Sean, like, my husband actually likes you as a YouTuber. He doesn't really talk about anybody. I guess maybe it's because Jonah really likes you and wants to be like you. And by the way, he looked really cute last night at this Christmas party. And then he had his hat on backwards and I was going to take a picture and then I never did. But he looked just like you, like your twin. And if you guys don't know who I'm talking about um, and you don't follow him, go follow Sean Durst. I'll put his whatever in the description. He's trying to get to a million subscribers and then they're going to start like building their house or something random. So go show him some love. Go tell him I sent you. He knows who I am. We talk all the time. Or maybe I just think we talk all the time and then he, he's like, I don't know you. <laughs> Good afternoon, guys. Jonah was so cute. He was singing Jesus Loves Me, but I didn't catch it. I'm watching a tutorial by Roberto Blake. She is hungry. Anyway, basically, Elia pulled the speaker on herself this afternoon. The speaker, specifically. She basically was trying to get something off of it, I guess, but I was in the room trying to plug in the iPad, and as soon as, like, I unplugged it, um or plugged it in, Jonah started arguing with me. So then I had to get on to him and all of a sudden I heard her crying and I was like, oh, cause she sounded like in distress. So I looked and she, the speaker was on top of her. It freaked me out. But in other good news, I got a new camera guys. Thanks to Brett. Thank you Brett for your advice and your help with me figuring stuff out. I got a G7X yeah, so. Hopefully that will look a little bit better than this. We will see. We will have to find out. Then you will have to see and suffer with me again. Jonah, what are you doing? In any case, I feel kind of burnt out, guys. I feel like really burnt out with these kids. They drive me crazy. And then with her and that speaker, that thing freaked me out. Let me know in the comments, like, has that ever happened to you if you have young kids? Because that really scared me. I think we're gonna call it a Natsuki's because I want to watch Designated Survivor tonight and I don't want to have to be up wickedly editing. Jonah, what do you have, what do you have to say to everybody? Have a really awesome night. What else? What's your favorite blocks? What are your favorite blocks? Well, I guess a better thing would be, what kind of blocks do you like? Do you like wood blocks or when you were little? Do you like wooden blocks? Do you like, you know, mega blocks? Do you like Duplo? blocks? Do you like Legos? What's your favorite type of block? I don't know, it's kind of weird, but ask your kids if you don't have one, ask them. I want to see what they have to say down there in the comments. But anyway, we just want to thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you for subscribing. I cannot even begin to describe how thankful and grateful I am for each and every one of you guys for clicking on my video, for watching, for giving me likes, for supporting me every time I post something, you know, and I know to some people I probably am kind of annoying and they don't want to see it and and I do sense that that some people just don't really like YouTube and that's fine you know you're kind of gonna have that and when somebody doesn't really understand what YouTube is so I just want to say thank you to all of you guys that do understand that do watch that do give a thumbs up I got snow. don't pick at that okay because we don't oh. need another one of those getting beheaded please but anyway we're gonna just get settled in here. Even though we've been here all day, we're still getting settled in. You guys have a wicked awesome night. We'll see you guys on a Monday with a new vlog. Like always, leave a prayer request below. I'd love to pray for you. Love you guys so much. Jesus loves you guys. Peace. The Life. Cause the night is young.